Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to the Power Up Your Dream Self Empowerment channel. I am Winsome Alexander. I am the creator of the Power Up Your Dream Self Empowerment Mentorship Program. My eight week mentorship program empowers survivors of trauma to reconnect with their own personal power, to go out of survival mode, to go from stagnant to unstoppable and create their dream. And the dream we're after is that one thing that you want more than anything else in the world, right? That one thing where once you get that, you probably would have already achieved all your other dreams, at least most of them right? So we're going for that main thing that you want out of life. I don't know if you've ever really given thought to the one thing you want, where that one thing would just make you happy and said, well, you did life well. That's what my program helps you to plan to do. But today we're going to talk about 10 signs that lets you know you are living in survival mode. If you're feeling uncomfortable in your life, chances are you are living in survival mode and there is a cure for that. You can get out of that state and my program can help you. So one of the first signs that you're living in survival mode is that you don't know who you are, right? You are not conscious of how you show up in the world. You don't know what your message is. You don't know how people perceive you when you speak or when you show up, right? You're just unclear of who you are, how you're supposed to feel, how you're supposed to present yourself. You have no idea who you are. If someone asked you, who are you? You would have to sit down and think and think and think about it, right? So that's one of the things my program does is helps you get clear about who you are. The next thing is you don't have um, a plan for your life or a vision for your life. That's one of the main things that my program does. It helps you develop a plan for the rest of your life. You are probably in survival mode if you are living paycheck to paycheck, right? You have no savings. You can barely make uh, ends meet. Your credit is poor. Um, you accept any old job and that's offered to you and you stay in the job no matter how stressful it is because you feel like you, you don't have the confidence to go and find a better job, a job that you deserve. You probably feel like you don't deserve a better job. You feel like you don't have the skills and experience to get a better job. That's you being stuck in survival mode. That's you being stagnant and you can get out of that, right? Once you get a clue of who you are and what your dream is, once you define what your dream is and you start making a plan to go towards it, you realize that you have more skills and experience than you think and you will begin to gain the confidence to go after a job that will take care of you well and so that you can save and invest and feel um, a little more financially comfortable. Number four, you are probably in survival mode if you don't believe that you deserve good things or that you, be you deserve greatness and you tell yourself you don't deserve good things, right? Um, that you don't deserve your dreams, you don't deserve greatness, and why not? Why, why not you? You know that there are great things inside of you. You know that there are beautiful gifts and talents inside of you. You know this. 
Deep down, you know that you have a lot to offer to the world, but you tell yourself that you don't because you don't have the confidence and you don't believe that you deserve all these good things. You're in survival mode. Number five, you are afraid of the future. You're afraid of the future because you don't think that you're going to be okay in it. You're afraid because you don't think that you can create the future that you want. That used to be my problem. I used to be terrified of the future. That's what kept me stressed and in depression and gave me panic attacks most of the time because I was terrified that something terrible was going to happen to me in the future and I was just not going to be okay. Now, I have overcome those fears and I'm very confident now about my future because I know I have the power to create the future I want. One of the things that helped me do that was I came across a quote that said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. That was exceptionally liberating for me because then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Instead of being afraid of the future, I can create the future I want. All right. And then I took steps to set up my future you know, to, um, to suit me. So that's one of the things that my program can help you to do is overcome that fear of the future and set up a plan to get the future that you want, that dream. Number six, you are probably in survival mode if you go through life just letting life happen to you. Uh, instead of actively creating your own circumstances. Even if you have a good job, you still don't have a vision or a plan for your future. You don't know how you're going to create that dream. That one thing that you want more than anything else, you don't have a plan for that. You're in survival mode. Number seven, if you feel overwhelmed, you're frazzled, you're out of control, you feel like your life is out of control, you are sad, you're unfulfilled, you're not proud of yourself, you live in shame and guilt. You're living in survival mode. You've got to be able to congratulate yourself, to um, celebrate all your little wins. You probably have more accomplishments than you give yourself credit for. Take the time to list all the things that you have accomplished, big and small, and you have realized you're not as badly off as you thought you were but you're overwhelmed, unfulfilled, and out of control because you don't have a plan. You need guidance, right? Um, you are living in shame and guilt, and shame and guilt are heavy burdens to carry. You can't get far with such heavy burdens weighing you down. You've got to deal with shame and guilt because shame and guilt is relative to fear, right? And then when you put a plan together and you see that plan starting to take shape, that fear and guilt and shame will begin to dissipate. Because one of the reasons you're feeling so overwhelmed with shame and guilt and fear is because you don't know where you're going. You can't see that you're making progress. So this is one of the things that my eight-week program will tackle with you. 
to get you out of that state of shame. We'll look at some of the reasons why you are ashamed. And we will begin to unload some of those burdens so you can move forward with your future and with your dream. Number nine, you will stay in survival mode as long as you don't learn to put yourself first. And that shame and guilt will also help you to um, accept poor treatment and the disrespect and abuse because you don't learn to set clear boundaries because you're afraid of speaking up for yourself and you don't know how to protect yourself, right? If you were not well protected as a child, you grow up as an adult not learning quite how to protect yourself. So you leave yourself um, open to victimization by disrespect and by, um, and by abuse and poor treatment. You're afraid of speaking up for yourself because you'd rather save someone else's feelings than your own. You people please more than you please your own self. When you learn to love and respect yourself, you'll see the value in putting yourself first. I know this sentiment of putting yourself first is very difficult for people, especially those people who are married and who have children. They feel that the children should come first. But how can you pour into someone when you are empty? So you've got to get comfortable with the idea that you come first, right? Your dream, your future, you are the most important person in your circle. You've got to get comfortable with that idea if you want to get out of survival mode. And number 10, you don't know where to find help. You may know, think that you need help, right? But you don't know where to go to find that help. There is help right here, right now. My mentorship program will help you get all these things together that we just talked about and help you develop a plan for your future and create that dream. Maybe you've even buried your dream. We'll help you unearth who you are and unearth that dream so you can have the future that you want. None of us can do it alone. You need support. And let me tell you, my favorite word in the English language is the word support because none of us can can make it without support. Even Jesus Christ, when he was carrying the cross and couldn't carry it anymore, was tired in the street. Someone had to come along and help him. When he went to the garden to pray, he called for his disciples to go with him. Of course, they fell asleep, but at least he called for them because he needed their support. None of us can do this without support. So why do you think that you can go through life and accomplish all you want to accomplish without some support? One of the most important things that my program provides is support, long-term support, because that's what mentorship is. Long-term trusted advice, advice from experience. So you will have my support, plus the support of our community, right? A community of survivors who kind of have an idea what each is, each other is going through. So you have a community of survivors lifting each other up. 
so you'll be able to join our Facebook group so you can post questions, you can post your wins, you can receive encouragement and just a wonderful, safe place to go as you grow. Now, this group, Facebook group, will be different from the other survivor face, um, groups you'll find on Facebook. This is a group where we are healing. Uh, we are not so much focused on what happened to us. Of course, we're going to share our stories. Of course, and we're going to, you know, we're going to share where we are. But the focus is in we are moving ahead and we are healing. We are creating our dream. We are taking our life back. Yeah, we're going to be taking our life back. All those things that were stolen from us uh, through abuse and trauma, we're taking them back. We're taking back our name. We're taking back our finances. We're taking back our goals, our dreams, our relationships, uh, our peace of mind. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing in the group, right? Supporting each other as we take back all the things that were stolen from us and begin to live the life we were originally created to live. Because we weren't created to just live and suffer all day long. No. We are created to have something major, something significant to give back to life, to give to humanity, and to receive something great back from it. So the number one thing you're going to get out of the program is support. And let me tell you, if someone, while I was out there feeling in, in survival mode, kind of like you are right now, if someone had offered me long-term support for $2,500, you best believe I would eagerly pay it. Just for someone to kind of hold my hand, to support me, to help me, to help me figure things out. For a community that understood what I was going through and who had similar dreams and hopes as me and we are headed on the same path together. Who would give me trusted advice based on their experience? Who would uh, refer or recommend um, other resources that would help me? Who is invested in seeing me prosper? I would gladly pay that fee, but my program does not cost $2,500. And if you're interested in joining the program, Email me. My email is in the description box. Email me with the subject head um, mentorship or mentorship program and just say you would like to join the program and then I will send you the details. Okay. Now, the program that's coming up is eight weeks. Seven weeks. For seven weeks, we're going to dive into... A different area of your life. Life. We're gonna look at health and mental health. We're gonna look at your goals. We're gonna look at your finances. We're gonna look at um, your relationships, your purpose, your story, and uh, your serenity. So we're gonna dive into each of these areas and we're gonna come up with a plan for you to create. The whole purpose of the program is for you to create that one thing that you want out of life more than anything else. And when you achieve that one thing, you would have already achieved all your other dreams. So we're gonna make a list of your dreams, right? Those that you have already accomplished, those that you are in the middle of right now and those to come. And we're going to zero in on the one thing that you want more than anything else. And that's what we're going to go after. And that's what you're going to receive support to go after and to achieve. 
So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will be back with another video next week. And once again, now, please, I uh, invite you to subscribe to my channel, to leave a comment. Let me know if you're in survival mode. See you next time. And don't forget, <clears throat> my email is in the description box. So you can email me to get on the program. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.